Since Nintendo won't give us any actual VR Mario games, I said actual, I downloaded some fan-made ones on SideQuest just to see what there is. I haven't done my research on any of these, so let's blindly hop right into this first game, rightfully titled Mario VR. It doesn't get much more simple than that. Okay, so this first game, I think, is just a recreation of level 1-1 in the original Mario Bros. I could be wrong there. This is very, uh, like, laggy, and it, when I turn, it's not very smooth at all. I'm just realizing you have to move with the right stick for some reason, not the left stick. The left stick doesn't do anything. That's a good sign. Okay, so the X button is jump, and yeah, you can't get over the fence there. Let's just kill this guy. There we go. That's kind of neat. I just wish you could move with the left stick. This sucks having to move with the same stick you're punching with. I guess I could punch with that one, but it's not my dominant hand. Do I get bigger with that? Can I, can I have a bite? I don't think I'm any bigger, but okay. <laughs> Breaking the bricks is pretty satisfying though. And so is Goomba Slaughter. You can just walk around them, so that kind of defeats the point. I'm wondering if this one has the little shortcut. I don't know how to... I don't know how to go down there, but that's fine. I like that you can see all the way to the end, though. That is really cool. Right, let's not let's not screw up this first jump. There we go. I don't even care about the question block. The mushrooms don't make you bigger, so what's the point? I didn't click that twice. Do you have to jump to kill them? No. So you just walk into the Goombas and you kill them, so they're not really enemies in this? Okay, if you're new to VR, don't play this game. You will probably just fall right over, pass out, die. I've been doing VR for years now, and this is, this is tripping me up. This section looks... Very familiar. Pit. Oh, I so thought I was dead there. One last Goomba stomp for the road, and then... <laughs> Top of the flagpole. There we go. So you can walk off here, but you can't go in the castle, or even try to. Whoa, whoa, I'm in the castle, I'm in the castle! Can I go in the tunnel, world 1-2? Uh, uh, nope, you can't. Maybe if you just walk off, it goes to 1-2? I don't know. I mean, it's really cool to play the first level of Mario in VR, but this is probably the worst way you could do it. This moves at like such a low FPS and it is so stuttery and crummy, but hey, it, it's a free game. You know, they can't charge for this because Nintendo, if they did, they would probably not live to see another day. So this is neat, this is a cool experience. It just gets me excited and makes me hope that Nintendo will make VR Mario because this ain't it, Chief. This, this is just not it. This is, this is really cool. This is like really high def too. This is, this looks better than it did on Wii. These are kind of weird that they're not moving. I love that I have Mario's fists too. Oh, I can shoot star bits too. This is, I'm not out of that one, but still that's cool. Okay, so I read the description of this. I think you're supposed to collect eight stars or something. And once you do that, I think you beat the game. Can I do a triple jump? That's what I'm wondering. Ah, uh, no triple jump, unfortunately, but you can spin jump. That is awesome. Look at that. What does this do? Oh, it works. That that was a little scary, not, not even gonna lie there. This is so cool. And the music is it fits it so nice. This is like nostalgic. This is this is insane for me right now. Oh, this song always brings out the, the tears, the emotions, you know man. Mario Galaxy was the game of my childhood. And like being here in this hub world, which was like a home away from home for me growing up, like this is just gives me chills. I, I love this. I love this. This is awesome. We're just going to go around here, grab these eight stars and just really enjoy the scenery here. No crazy gameplay, nothing fancy here. I wish the movement wasn't so jumpy here. Like it just moves me to the random direction sometimes, but that's okay. I really, I really don't mind. Kind of want to find out if I fall off, if it'll make the sound effect. Like the I'm getting pulled back. We're going to try it out. So it looks like there's more than eight because I see a couple more. Maybe it's like 10 or 12 or something. I don't know. It could have been an older version of it. They need to make Mario Galaxy VR now. Like this actually works really well. Uh-oh. There's a star over here. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to grab that real quick. And then I think that's the last one. There's got to be something behind the fountain over there. There's got to be, right? They wouldn't let you go over here if there was no star, right? There we go, baby. I just wish Rosalina was here, man. That'd be so cool. She was what made this place so great. Without her, it feels kind of empty. Why can you shoot star bits? That's what I want to know. Does it have any purpose? Mario, first person shooter, you shoot star bits? That'd be sick, come on. I love that you can spin jump in VR. Always wanted to do that, man. Every time I would jump in the pool as a kid, I would do the spin jumps and just imagine that sound effect, and now we can just... It's also bothering me that there's only 13 stars. There has to be 14, right? 
Or 15? Like, 13's unlucky. We can't have that. Come on. All right, so that's uh, Mega Mario Galaxy. It's a VR version of the best hub world of all time and one of the most nostalgic places in video games for me. Now we're going to move on to the last game we have. Looks like we have two courses here. Maple Treeway, Daisy Circuit. We're going to go Maple Treeway first. We have to have items on, right? Accelerate, steer, drift. Got it. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. There's no computers. I am feeling so... This, this ain't right. I want to use items. I wonder where it like pops up. Oh, it's right there. Oops. I am going down. Uh, is it going to straighten me out when I come back? Hello? No, stop. There's, there's no break. There's no break. Is this going to keep respawning me on the edge of the cliff? Can I, can I drift out of this? We're going to try it again. I'm going to try not to die this time. Okay, you can hold the item. Can I, I can take whoa whoa <laughs> what the fuck big boy it gets bigger every time you grab it in a different hand big boy oh okay i'm gonna die again no please 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 i'm just gonna hold straight we've survived of all the stages you could bring why one of the hardest in mario kart wii that, that, that just doesn't make sense like you're going to die on these tree trunks and also since they're curved i think that's why i die because it keeps respawning me on the tip of them which is causing me to fall right off and boost pads don't work, so we are dead. If you get motion sick easily, you don't want to play this game. You just don't. It's going to respawn me on the roof of that. We're done with that. We're going to do Daisy Circuit, because that one that one has less spots to die, right? The sunset, that's beautiful. And the cruise ship there, there we go, Daisy Cruiser. Will the mushroom work is the question. Mushroom works. I just messed it up really bad. Why are we going so slow? Like, this cannot be as fast as we can move right now. Is it just that like some road surfaces are slower? The beginning worked great, and that was more uphill, I thought. We gotta, we gotta use the speed here, we're never gonna get it again. We made it through a lap, I hear lap noises. That's a plus, we are going so fast. This is definitely momentum based, this is like Sonic 1. Shit. Oh my god, oh my god. We're gonna die! This is nuts, and the vibration in the controllers is so much. We're going 150 kilometers per hour, which is, I don't even know what that is, because I'm American. Let's aim for, let's actually get through that shortcut, like, nicely this time. There we go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> car accident simulator, this is bad. I think the later you drift, the better, too. I think it's more like Mario Kart Wii than 8. So, I gotta say, I love how the map looks. This is, like, super high def and high quality looking. The skybox choice, again, was really nice. And I like that you can use items, that's really cool. But no, the racing doesn't work very well. Not at all. I will I will say that. Wish you could race with people too, this is kind of boring. I don't know why they couldn't just import the exact racing from like Mario Kart Wii or something and just set your view to the driver's perspective. I don't know how game development works, I don't know the slightest thing about that, but something like that has to be possible, right? Like this is not the only way to make a VR Mario Kart. You don't have to start from scratch. I mean, I'm sure this map was just taken from Mario Kart seven or something but the gameplay mechanics are entirely unique to this game okay now we're going like so fast right now we're going 240 kilometers per hour <laughs> it's rocket league we made it back on track fellas we're about to beat a lap let's go now i know there is a real vr mario kart it's some arcade game partner with namco i think with like pac-man and shit that actually looks really really good so like if they can make it for an arcade machine they can surely make it for a home console that part you go way too fast through and there's not enough collision and boundaries for this game to work right and yeah it's just gonna oh my god it didn't kill me that's something yeah but look how fast you go down this hill no, I'm down here now. I'm, I'm dead. Okay, so that's going to do it for Mario Kart VR. Um, I'm not feeling very well after that, I'm not going to lie. That wasn't good. That wasn't good, no. The footage that it's showing, I'm just looking at it now, does not look that bad. But trust me, when you're in that world, it is, it's atrocious, man. It hurts. Yeah, so overall, those games aren't very good. But they were made by one guy. And if anything, they show a ton of promise for Nintendo doing VR in the future. With all their assets and resources, just money, they can make such immersive and incredible experiences. If one passionate developer can make something like that, could you imagine what a full team of them could do? But guys, if you agree with me, drop me one of those, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.